the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, it doesn't fail to give reminders and also practical reminders. In his preaching ministry, he made use of parables, and that is things in which we can relate with, in which we, we, we encounter in our day-to-day -day experience of our life. Our gospel today, our Lord Jesus Christ made the use of the lamp when he said, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? And he said further, For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing is secret except to come to light. And it's true. Our gospel reading today again remind us the very use of a lampstand or lamps. Lamps help people to see and work in the dark and their light prevents them from stumbling and falling down. For the Jews, light represented the inner beauty, truth and goodness of God. God's light illumines our lives with light. Celestial joy and everything, everlasting peace. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that one of the highlights of our celebration of Christmas and Epiphany was, in, in fact, the star, who is the light, who is our Christ, in which we are being reminded of that our Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus always claims that he is the light of the world. When the light of Christ shines in our hearts, then we're able to recognize who we are, who our neighbors, who our neighbors are, and who God is, and to see clearly how we are related to God and our neighbors. When we live in Christ's light, we do not foolishly try to hide truths about ourselves from ourselves from our neighbors or from God. Christ's light will also remind us of the consequences of our sinful ways and bad habits. We are being reminded today to be a light to one another, to be a lampstand. And a lamp is brought not under a bushel basket or under bed, but a lamp are supposedly placed on a lampstand. Sa panahon po ngayon, tayo po ay ilaw. We have to be a light for one another. To shed light. And also to, to lead others not in error or ignorance. But to lead others in truth. Sa panahon po ngayon, kailangan po tayo maging mapanuri. Lalong lalo na sa mga informasyon na natatanggap po natin, nababasa po natin, napapanood po natin sa social media. Especially that we are now hearing a lot of platforms and advocacies of our different uh, candidates who will be running in this coming Halalan May 2022. And this is uh, a concrete example that we should always carry the light with us, within us, and leave the light in us. And that is, we have to lead for the truth. We have to seek and lead others for the truth. And this is the very promise that we made when we were baptized. Remember, the gift of light were given to us when we were baptized. Tayo po'y pinagkalubaan, pinagkalooban ng ilaw Biyayan ng ilaw ng Diyos. We have received the light of Christ. And this is a reminder for us that we have to live this light of Christ in our life. Nanaway sa ating buhay, maging ilaw rin po tayo sa mga tao. Para po mabuhay po sila sa katotohanan. Ay hindi sa kasulunig ka si kasilundingan. At naway, ito pong ating dasal sa araw-araw. 
na tayo po'y maging ilaw at tanglaw sa bawat isa patungo sa katotohanan at katapatan. Amen. Please rise.